guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a shop with me and also a pretty huge haul from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree already started putting out all of their fall and Halloween items into their stores. So I went to my local Dollar Trees to see what I can find. I did not pick up all of these items just at one Dollar Tree in one day. I did go to one Dollar Tree and then a few days later I went to a different Dollar Tree just to see if I can find anything different. So everything here is from two different Dollar Trees on two different days. I did pick up quite a few items. I'm now looking at everything and thinking that I probably bought way too much, but to be honest, a lot of these things is for Ryan's lunch. Then I also have stuff that I want to do for DIYs. Some of these things are even Christmas gifts. Yes, I know I'm already thinking about Christmas, but I like to start thinking about Christmas around this time of the year just because I don't like to be overwhelmed when Christmas does come around. I like to start picking up little things here and there. So I'm just going to start off with, I'll start off with all of the fall items that I have purchased. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I love to do DIYs and I also really love Dollar Tree florals. You can find so many beautiful florals at Dollar Tree for such a great price, much cheaper if you were to go to any craft store. So I do plan on doing a few wreaths for the holidays. I'm going to do a Halloween wreath and then I'm going to do a fall wreath. So I picked up a lot of their flowers. And I bought them in three different colors. I bought four little bouquets of each color. The first one is these mums. And it's in like this burgundy, really deep burgundy color. So I bought four of these. And then I bought four of the, it's like kind of like a orangey red color. Definitely a fall color. These are also mums. I bought four of those. And then the last color in the mums I bought were in this yellow color. So I'm going to be making a wreath out of all of these colors. I'm going to combine them all together. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it, but I really want a new fall wreath. The one we had from last year is just falling apart. It's so old. So I thought I would make a new one this year. If you guys would like me to film that wreath DIY, then comment down below and give the video a thumbs up and I'll definitely film that DIY for you guys. I also picked up these. I fell in love with these. I've seen other people haul it and I was so excited to find it at my Dollar Tree. And it is, it just says cotton. That's what the name is. But it's these really long, I don't know, like cotton stems. I have a really large vase in my living room by my fireplace. And I thought this would be perfect to put in that vase. And I think this would go perfect year round. Doesn't only have to be for fall or the holidays. So I'm going to stick these in that long vase. And then once fall comes around, I do want to put these pumpkin little stems in there. These are called pumpkin fillers. So I bought two of like this red color and has little pumpkins hanging on them. So I bought two of those and I'm going to put those in the large little vase. And then I also bought one in like an orange color. So all those are going to go in my large vase. And I think that's such a great deal just for a dollar. If you were to go to Hobby Lobby or Home Goods or any of those other stores and find these there, they would definitely be more than a dollar. The next item that I purchased was this little pumpkin with two little sunflowers. It just says, Hello Fall. And I think this is meant to put inside your house, but I thought this would be really cute to put in my garden. I don't have anything fall or Halloween themed for my garden, so I thought that would be really cute to put into my garden. And then talking about my garden, I bought two other things. These are garden steaks. So I bought this one. It is a pumpkin. And then when the wind blows, this is supposed to like twirl around. I just thought that was really cute. So I bought a pumpkin one. And then I also bought this one that says harvest and it's just a little scarecrow. So I'm going to put that in my garden. Next is going to be this sign. They had so many really pretty fall items out like decor. But I bought so much last year and I'm not sure what I bought last year. So I don't want to have doubles. So I did only pick up one sign because I don't think I picked this up last year. If I did, I'll just give it away. But I'm pretty sure I did not buy this. But I just thought this was so pretty. It's a pumpkin. And then it says thankful and blessed in like a white glitter. And you can hang it up. It has like this little burlap rope. So I just thought that was really cute. And hopefully I didn't buy it last year. I don't even know if they had this out last year. But I just fell in love with it. So I grabbed that. And then I bought, I'm going to show you guys a few craft items that I purchased. I bought two of these wire little wreaths to make my wreaths with. And then I bought some reindeer moss. I bought three packs of this reindeer moss. I have another 
craft DIY I'm going to do with this. So I probably need one more package. I'm not sure if three will be enough, but I just bought three of the reindeer moss. So the next two items is for a DIY I have in mind. I'm pretty sure I found the idea on Do It On A Dime's channel. Pretty sure I found it from her channel. She does so many great DIYs and crafts. I get so many ideas from her. But I bought this. This is supposed to be like for a candle down below. And then you're supposed to put like wax melts on top for it to melt. I'm not going to use it for that. I bought this and this little red bird. My mom loves birds, especially red ones. So I'm going to be doing a craft with that. Let me know if you guys would like me to show you what I decide to make for my mom and I will definitely film that for you guys. The first Halloween item is these window decals for the kids. I usually let them decorate like the back sliding door for each holiday. I usually buy like stickers like this and they put all over the window. So next few items is when we buy pumpkins for the kids to decorate. So I bought these pumpkin decorating kit. It comes with a bunch of different stickers. And these items I'm gonna show you, I actually bought last year and the kids love, so that's why I repurchased it this year. But they're just like pumpkin stickers. It comes with a bunch of different stickers inside. And then I just bought this pumpkin decorating kit. I bought one for Madison and then one for Ryan. We bought these last year and they worked out great. The kids loved it, so I purchased them again this year. And then I have a lot more craft stuff I'm going to show you guys for Halloween. So I'm going to be making a Halloween wreath like I told you guys. So I did want to buy some stuff for that. And I bought these spiders and also these pumpkins that I plan on putting on my wreath. The next two items is fall items. I'm not sure why they were in the Halloween part. But these are foam scattered. And I know a lot of people put these like in vases or scatter it on a table. I'm not going to use it for that. I'm thinking about putting this on my wreath when I make my fall wreath. And then I bought these leaves as well. I was thinking about putting on my wreath. I'm not sure if I'm going to put them, but we'll see what happens. If not, I'll find something to do with these. But I just thought this was a great deal. 20 of these little foam scattered items. Some are leaves and pumpkins and then just 50 of these leaves. Next is going to be this decorative mesh, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to need more than this for the wreath, but I bought two in black and then two in orange, and this is what I'm going to make my Halloween wreath with. And like I said, I'll probably pick up one or two more because I'm sure I'm going to need a little more because I like my wreaths to be really full. Next is going to be this spider webbing. I thought I could put this outside on one of the trees or one of the bushes, and then it also comes with a bunch of like fake flowers inside. Next is going to be this LED strobe light. I'm not sure how well this will work, but I thought if we carve a pumpkin instead of putting a candle inside, because I feel like that's dangerous and I would probably forget to turn it off, I thought I could just put this LED strobe light inside. Next is going to be these LED pumpkin lights. And I thought I could put this like on my wreath that I make. I can maybe wrap it around the wreath and give it some light and hang it out on front of my door. Even though it says for indoor use only, I don't know. I'll still try to use it for outside. It's not going to be outside where it will get wet. It's going to be right on my front door. and We have like a little covering. So I don't feel like my wreath will ever get wet. I have a wreath on there now that hasn't gotten wet. So yeah, we'll see how that works out. But that's what I plan on doing with that. Next few items is going to be for Ryan's lunch. I just bought him these little napkins. It says Boo and Eek and has a pumpkin right here. And I just thought that would be cute to put in Ryan's school lunch. Also for his lunch, I found these drawstring candy bags. So you're supposed to put like candy and treats in here for Halloween, I guess to give out on Halloween or maybe for a class party but I'm not gonna use it for that. What I'm going to do for his lunches, anytime I pack him any snacks, instead of putting them in Ziploc bags, I'm going to put them in here. And then I also bought this cupcake kit. I'm not gonna make, use these to make cupcakes. I'm actually going to use it for Ryan's lunch. I thought the picks are pumpkins. I thought the picks I could use to put on food, whether I put like fruit on it or make like a little skewer of like um, meat and cheese or something like that. And then the cupcake liners are also used for his lunch and throw maybe some treats and snacks in there just so his lunch can be a little more festive. Okay, so the last few items has nothing to do with Halloween or fall, but I did pick up while I was at Dollar Tree. So I figured I would show you guys this for Ryan's lunch. It is this little plastic container and PJ mask. He has this exact circle one and a sandwich one, but in Paw Patrol. He's had it since last year. It has held up great. It has not faded. It has not broke. And he really loves it for his school lunches. So 
I tried to find the sandwich one, the matching one, but I couldn't find it. All they had was one more of this one. So I just picked that up and I like to put some snacks in here for him for lunch. Also for his lunch, I'm not sure how well this will work, but this is a travel dressing container. And I thought I could use this because sometimes I like to switch up his lunch and not only give him like sandwiches and chicken nuggets for lunch. I was thinking about giving him maybe some waffles or mini pancakes for lunch. And I thought I could put the syrup in here. I'm not sure if it'll leak or not because I've never used it. It doesn't make a snapping noise, but it does seem to be tight. So I don't know. I'm going to try it out, put a little bit of syrup in here, but I'm also going to put it in a Ziploc bag just in case it leaks. It doesn't get all over his lunchbox or all over his other food. So I'll let you guys know how that works out, but I just thought that was really cool. So I'll put some syrup in there for his lunch. And then I bought these silver plastic forks. They're like these little mini forks, supposed to be for like appetizers. I found them in the wedding section. I usually buy disposable silverware for his lunch because I don't want him to take his good silverware and lose it. But I thought these would be cute. Like if I give him some snacks in his lunchbox that he needs a fork, sometimes I can just give him a mini one instead of the large one. And then the last thing for his lunchbox is this. I found this in the party section. It's favor surprises but these open and they're just like little legos he's obsessed with legos so i figured i can maybe squeeze like a little snack in these legos whether it's one little cookie or a piece of chocolate i don't know i can squeeze something in there and put in his lunchbox just to make his lunchbox a little more fun and then the last item i bought was this pj mask little tray you're supposed to put it underneath when they eat he has one just like this i believe in paw patrol and it's perfect for when he's eating because he makes a mess and it's very easy cleanup. But I also like to use these for when he's playing with Play-Doh or slime. Or he also has like this foam that he likes to play with. And I always make him play with it on this. And I tell him if the Play-Doh or slime gets out of here, that means you have too much out. You need to put some away. So I like to have extras of these. So I have some for food and then some for just like his Play-Doh and stuff like that. So the last few items is actually going to be Christmas gifts. I bought two books. My mom's husband loves to read books. He goes to books so fast. So I'm always buying him books for Christmas. I usually always buy him something else, but I definitely always buy him a book because he loves them. So these are two hardback books, which I think is such a great deal at Dollar Tree for only a dollar. And this one's actually from Target. It has a Target sticker on there, but I did FaceTime my mom to make sure he would like these books. And she said she thinks he would. So this one's called Paul Ryan, The Way Forward. And then this one is called The Book of Aaron, a novel, Jim Shepard. So like I said, these are two hardback books in really good condition. So those will be a part of his Christmas gift. And these last things I'm going to show you guys is actually for the kids for Christmas. I thought these would be perfect stocking stuffers. I've never seen them in my local Dollar Tree. It's the first time I've ever seen it. So my kids love like these little Beanie Baby things. And this is by Disney. So I thought those would be great stocking stuffers. I bought some for Ryan and some for Madison. So, oh, I only bought Madison three. I thought I bought her four. But I bought Ryan two from Frozen. So this is supposed to be Olaf. And then this one is supposed to be the little deer or moose. I'm not even sure what his name is, but those two for Ryan. And then the other two I bought for Ryan is from Winnie the Pooh. I bought him an ER one and also a Tigger one. And then for Madison, I could have sworn I bought her four. Maybe I misplaced one, but I bought her two from Frozen. I bought her Anna and Elsa. And so cute. It even has a dress on it. Really cute. So I bought her those two. And then I bought her a Eeyore one. She's obsessed with Peppa Pig. So anything that has to do with a pig, I always buy her. So I just bought her Piglet. And then, like I said, I could have sworn I bought her a fourth one. I think I bought her an Eeyore one as well. I just don't know where it is. Okay, guys, so those are the last few items that I purchased from my local Dollar Tree. As you guys can see, I picked up quite a few things from my Dollar Tree. You can find so many great items at your local Dollar Tree for really great prices. Some things are hits and some things are misses. And these things that I purchased, I definitely believe are hits. So, yeah, that is going to complete my haul. Also guys, give this video a big thumbs up and also comment down below if you guys would like me to film my DIYs that I do plan on doing with half of these items that I purchased. I do have some wreaths I'm going to be making and then also a little DIY for my mom with that little red bird and candle holder that I showed you guys. And also guys, I was thinking about maybe doing a video 
on items that you can purchase from your local Dollar Tree for your kids school lunches. There's so many things at your local Dollar Tree that you can use in your kids lunch boxes for school to make them fun and exciting for them. So I thought I would show you guys everything that I use for my kids lunch boxes, how I use them, and also go to Dollar Tree and show you everything that they have. So just comment down below and let me know if you guys would like me to share with you all of my ideas that I have and I'll definitely film that video for you guys. And as always, if you have not already, please subscribe to my channel and join me and my YouTube family. Also remember to turn on your post notification bell so anytime I do upload a video, you'll be notified that I have uploaded. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.